If at absolute zero all movement stops, does that include the orbit of electrons around the nucleus of an atom? No. That's a really, really good question because that embodies, I would argue, at least three modules worth, lecture modules worth of material to address that. That's a fantastic question. You're not going to take three modules worth to answer, eh? Uh, I might. <laughs> First of all, uh, at the absolute zero of temperature, you can't get there, but even if you could, and people can get down to very, very low temperatures, the electrons are still whizzing around. There are fluctuations uh, in, in particles, and uh, there, some are caused by thermal excitations, the, the, the temperature that you've just talked about, and some are just intrinsically quantum mechanical. They're just they're there in the system, and so even if you cool the system to absolute zero, which you can't, but if you could, then there'd still be the quantum fluctuations, and I think, therefore, there could still be effectively orbits around uh, an atom. First of all, you can't reach absolute zero. And you can look at that two ways. You can look at that, actually, put aside all the quantum mechanics stuff, and let's just look at the thermodynamics that was done centuries ago. There's something called the third law of thermodynamics. Loosely stated, and I don't want to um, raise the ire of all the, the professional physicists out there, but loosely stated what the third law tells us is that you can never, in a finite number of steps, you can never reach absolute zero. Uh, at high temperatures, the atoms are vibrating quite strongly about their equilibrium positions. These, we can regard these little bonds here as being like springs, and so the atoms are vibrating. And then as we cool down, these vibrations get less and less and less. But even as we approach absolute zero, we can never get rid of the zero-point energy motion. So the atoms will still have this... Uh, zero-point energy motion associated with, the, with, with quantum mechanics. At the quantum mechanical level, we have the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. And the Heisenberg uncertainty pr principle tells us we can never precisely know the position of something, because if we know precisely the position of an electron, then we have a huge uncertainty in its momentum and thus a huge uncertainty in its energy, which means it could, in principle, have a, you know, a very, very large energy. Uh, according to quantum mechanics, again using Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, electrons are confined in a small space in the atom, uh, so-called Bohr radius, which is about 10 to the minus 10 meters. And again, according to the laws of quantum mechanics, if they're confined in that space, um, they're strongly confined, and therefore there's an uncertainty in their momentum and velocity, so they certainly aren't at rest. Even at absolute zero, quantum mechanically, you still have vibration because you have a small amount of uncertainty about where the position of an electron or a nucleus or an atom is.